What's up, everybody, and thank you for joining me today. I know I've been saying I'm going to make these videos in Spanish, but I haven't yet. I promise I'll watch my first Spanish video this weekend. But today I'm going to show you how to create a graph and SAP. But before we get started, don't forget to like my videos and subscribe and share them with your coworkers. But let's get it started. So right here I have an IW37 and I'm looking at all my work orders that are currently open. So let's say that I'm trying to plan for a plant shutdown, but I don't know which line to plan first. So if you click over here on the column where it says the title, you click the title column highlight it you go to list graphic and once you click graphic it's gonna look like this so you're gonna want to go to options or well, you can change it but you can go to options I like to look at the pie chart so you can go options you put I like to put D2 options and then you can get this little window and I always like to see the pie chart. So I'm gonna click pie chart and I want to look at percentage and I don't care about the background grid, neither the background color. So I'm gonna click, but I do wanna see the alternating colors. So I click that, click apply. And then here you can see how much work you have on each line. So I know 26% is on 1400 line and 26 other percent is on 1500 so I know I have to do some work on those lines so that's probably what I'm gonna schedule first to get done but that's how you create a graph in SAP and like I say you can play around with it you can do vertical triangle step lines and all these different charts but that's pretty much how you create a graph on SAP back then you you were able to create two columns into a graph but since they've been an update on 2018, you can't combine those columns anymore. I also want to give a shout out to the people that view my videos. I only have like 130 views, which it might not mean a lot, but it means a lot to me. So thank you guys and keep sharing my videos. I also have a lot of great content coming for those people that live in Indy and are following me. So keep in touch. And it's going to be a roller coaster this year. Um, but once again, thank you for watching my videos and keep sharing them. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment or shoot me an email. Thank you.